Hey guys, it's Erlen Bryan here. Today we're gonna go over the installation of our dual fan controller kit. So we're gonna open up this box here. So this will be basically how it arrives at your door. We'll pull the harness out. So these are gonna be your connections to your fan. And then these two ring terminals are gonna go to a battery constant and a chassis ground. So you're gonna wanna pick up your battery constant either directly at the battery, that's this ring terminal, the alternator stud, um, a power post for your fuse block or maybe another type of power post you have in your engine bay for jump starting. So we'll open up these relays here. The relays are going to install on the harness in these large connectors. So we'll pull these guys out. Now these are internally fused and we'll open them up so we can demonstrate the bracket. Now these have installation spots for these brackets that we're gonna provide you. So you can either put them on this orientation, or if you want, you can put them on that orientation. So you're gonna to wanna to mount this somewhere in the engine bay to a nice secure spot. And what we'll do is we'll just do a short demonstration on this Supra, and then we're gonna go over how you're gonna wire them. So, if we take this over to the Supra, this one is mostly stock, so it's a little bit difficult to see, but for this car, a great spot would be the alternator right there. So what you can do is you'll attach this power hookup to the alternator, and then you'll be able to mount your relays kind of on the fender area, like the strut tower, and then you'll be able to run these forward to the fans on the radiator. Now. Another part of the installation is the sub harnesses. So these are gonna plug in here. Now, depending on how you order the kit, it may come two different ways. So first we'll go over the ECU controlled one, which will also work for a switch. So basically you've got your two triggers. These are ground triggers. So you're gonna have to hook up a ground to your switch. And then this wire is your ignition on. So this can only be hot with the key on. And what that's gonna do is power up the circuit that's gonna open and close the relays. So this setup will work really well for an aftermarket ECU or just using a button like this. Now this other setup is for use with a temperature switch. So you're gonna install this into maybe the radiator or potentially your thermostat housing. So this is eighth inch NPT and we have different set temperatures. So that's gonna plug in right here. And now this is the same thing, it's ground triggered. So this is actually ground and then these are what is gonna turn the fans on. And same idea, you're gonna make sure that this is ignition powered but only with the key on. That way it prevents the fan from running when the vehicle's turned off. So hopefully this will help you guys out um, and give you some ideas on how to install this into your vehicle. And as always, if you guys have any questions, you can definitely call us on the technical support line.